everybody in this episode of our aweber tutorial series i'm going to show you how you could import or manually add subscribers to your list this could be useful if you already have a list with a different company and it's very small and you just want to manually switch it over or you want to import it if it's a bit larger so what you're going to do is go into subscribers then add subscribers you can manually add up to 10 at a time if you want to do that it's simple you just add in their email addresses and their names as you can see you could add the subscriber here but that could be pretty tedious adding it one at a time if you want to import more than 10 subscribers at a time which I'm guessing you do it's a very simple process as well uh, first of course choose the list that you want to add to then you're going to want to map the subscriber info so you can either copy and paste it here email address when you're still importing here email address to the name or you could drag an XLS file or a CSV or text file here with this format email at example.com comma first name alright next you're going to want to map your subscriber info so I have to do this before I go to the next step it's okay next you want to map subscriber info it's very simple what's this going to be that's their full name okay name here obviously it's the email next how did they join this is important they sign up on my website they provide their info to me pick which one is relevant to you are you bringing the subscriber info from another email provider if you click no you go to the next step but if you click yes you have to click which uh, it actually is next that just helps Aweber recognize it and do the proper formatting when you actually import your list so no matter what you click here they're asking you for additional information nothing's easy in the world of email marketing obviously so yes send my first message in the legacy follow uh, I would suggest you click yes only if you want them to start over in your funnel if they've already been receiving the same emails from a different provider obviously you would click no next do you want the subscribers to opt in again so this is an important option if you click yes that means that they will have to agree once again to be your subscriber now there's a, two different schools of thought on this one is that you will lose too many subscribers that way the other on the flip side is that if they're truly interested they will opt in again so I will let you go with the flow on that one uh, I would suggest getting them to opt in again um, especially if it's been a long time since you've sent these people an email because you don't want to have them reporting you for spam next almost done I promise add some tags to the subscriber these are different tags to keep uh, segmenting within your lists it really helps if you have a really big list uh, I'm not gonna get into segmenting just yet but I will in a further video now you could just finish the import thanks we'll email you once your import is processed it'll do it in the background I probably shouldn't have clicked uh, all the way through there as it's going to import their demo info but you know what to do now if there's any questions ask me in the comment section don't forget to hit subscribe thanks see you later